words What's the purpose of all this madness? My tablets have run out, so I now have to walk all the way to the uh, chemist. <coughs> I didn't bring my ID, so I don't have uh, I don't have my car, so I'm going to have to walk it all the way there. And it's going to take about two weeks before the car gets repaired. But now I just realised I have to pass this bridge, and I've got a problem with heights. I don't know how long I'll be stuck on this bridge for. I'm trying to creep along. Sorry, mate. The bloody bridge. Maybe I'll just take a video. If I look down, then. Hello, don't worry. She's built like. Oh, hello, Gordon. It's me. There's another one. I've just been overcome by. The nice food? Yeah? Why have to wash your hands? Quick with this. Look at these bastards. Oh, yeah. Hello, Gordon. 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 Hello, Four, five, six, oh yuck, seven, even on the fridge, look, eight, and sometimes if you open the fridge, they're in between the fridge there, they're trying to get inside the fridge. Ah, we've got Fred over there, and... Look, no. just had babies. All those babies are twitching, they're moving around. Let's see if I can get a closer, closer look. Oh, yuck. Bastards, there's another one here. Look. Oh, they're everywhere. It's about 1.32 a.m., that's when they all come out picked up so many with tissue paper and then throw them outside. I don't want to kill them. I swear, I'm going to get a container of cheap salt and just throw it all over the floor, all over the surfaces, so they'll never come. I did it once, and I didn't, we didn't see any for a few days. So uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. Yuck! Look at that spider! Look at that nasty spider! I've cooked another batch in the old, in the, in the pot that had the, the kind of tar, uh, quince jam. And now it's got, a, I tasted it, it's got a kind of smoky flavor, a roasted flavor. So maybe I've stumbled onto something new, another invention by accident. Let's see how these come out tomorrow. It's become like treacle, like a kind of tar, it's so hard. I made a, you know, like those Chinese herbal tablets. I made a little ball out of one. It's quite delicious, actually. Anyway. Uh, stay there. Got some capers here. I'll wash them because they're in um, the vinegar. Put some bicarbonate of soda and soak them to get all the vinegar out. And now they've just got the taste of caper, so I can eat those. Here's some quince jam that I made earlier on. Here's some quince jam that I tried to make, but I boiled down too much. And now it's like a, it's, it's drying up. It's like caramel. Bloody hell. And then again, maybe not. It looks be quite beautiful. Lots of bubbles, but it's already become almost hard. It's within a few minutes. Okay, it's sagging slightly. I'll see what it's like tomorrow. I think I'm allergic. <coughs> allergic.
allergic to my own house. I've been sneezing my brains out. I have to keep going outside or putting my head out the window like this to breathe in air. You know, I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe it's dust or something like that. But, uh, you know, um, I've been sneezing so much, so much, you know, only now. Um, I went outside for a while to recover. My nose is, is uh, draining out, you know. Behind this mask is full of water. So I have to actually change the mask because it's all wet. I'm leaking and uh, I don't know. I'm actually allergic to my own house, to this house. So what do I do? I was thinking live in the car or but my wife needs the car every bloody every every day so maybe what i can do is get a tent somewhere and live in a tent just to see if it changes you know if i if the the sneezing stops it could be the problem could be mold you know in the house and i seem to have a histamine intolerance problem uh yeah, why have I got a mask outside? Because if I take this off, I've got all gunge, I'm all, all, all full of liquid here. I have to take it off and clean myself and then show my face. Yeah, it's disgusting, but this is the, the, the fact. This is the reality. I'm going to go inside now. And as soon as I get to, I'll show you. As soon as I get to the kitchen, I, I, my nose just wants to sneeze. The fridge here leaks down it leaks and you can say okay there's maybe some mold there uh, but the house if you see that the house is full of wood and it's all um, you know it can become moldy I think there must be mold somewhere you know the sink is always full of garbage here I just cleaned this the other day this area here but it, then it gets full of water you know this anything that kind of you know this is like my wife does makes a juice and then leaves it there for a day that you know fungus or whatever grows there and uh you see i'm just making I'll switch the light on. i'm just making a tea here almond milk and uh what's this stinging nettle because stinging nettles help to reduce the uh, histamine response So I'll I'll boil this up and add some more uh, almond milk when I finish uh, later on. Yeah, but as you see, the the kitchen is all it's it's mouldy. There's lots of mould. I think you know my wife leaves. Look, look at what the you see. She leaves all this stuff and this goes mouldy. And apart from yeah, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah, this is my doing. I did that. I left that there. That's mouldy as well. There's just too much. Uh, there's obvious mould, like the ones that I just showed you. But there's mould. I think there's mould that's not obvious. Like maybe in certain areas here. You know, here, for example. Bloody fungus growing. And my body, my body just can't take it anymore. I try cleaning up, but my nose can't take it. I start sneezing my brains out. I, as I said, I cleaned this section, and I cleaned all this section last week. And uh, I attempted the pantry as well, but uh, I just, I just can't do it. You know, and uh, as, as, as I always say, she's not the kind of person. Not the kind of woman that likes to uh, clean the house. She's a kind of businesswoman, so I don't blame her. That's her character, but unfortunately, my blood results show that my asonophils are out of range. Those are the white blood cells that um, basically um, indicate that your body's basically in trouble. It's trying to fight off something allergies it could be allergy could be leukemia could be 
you know, it could be so many things. I hope in my case it's allergies. You know, don't want it to be anything else. But uh, hang on, I'll take this off in a bit. Good job. I'm sneezing so much. I mean, my body's in trouble. In trouble. I think I have to go and live in the tent or outside. Live in the garden somewhere. I have to get to the bottom of this. I'm not getting any help from anyone. I think I'm allergic to the house. I say she doesn't give a shit. I have to give a shit for myself. Can't, can't rely on other people. And men are monsters, but sometimes, sometimes we're not, you know. All I needed was a hug, that's all. I don't need full blown sex or anything like that. Just some affliction. What are you doing, baby? I'm just doing a video about my allergy. <laughs> what, have you put hair on my head? Ugh, what's this? Wonderful. Um, yeah, so sometimes you have to. No, no matter how much pain you have or you're going through, you're the one that's going through that pain. So, hello, baby. So anyway, I have to deal with it myself. And uh, yeah, bastard.